This podcast is sponsored by Relevant. It's a new iOS app to consolidate the media you want to see in a place you control. With Relevant, you stay up to date with things you are actually interested in. You tell Relevant what's relevant to you, and you'll be given all the content you love from all across the internet, all in one place. It's available on iOS devices and coming soon to Android. Be the first to know with Relevant. And we're live. What's up, everybody? It's the Poorly Edited Podcast. I'm Chandler Davis. We're here on another lovely Monday with the whole crew. I'm coffee guy. <laughs> Pat is fiddling with wires. What are you doing? I don't know. Well, that's Patrick Lilly. What's wrong? I don't know. It's just a bunch of wires. Don't worry about it. Well, get it together, man. <laughs> Way too early for it this. It is a rat's nest. Over. Oh, there oh, goes the mouse. Oh, the mouse is on the floor. Oh, no. It's it's shattered. Sorry, Chris Andrew. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. And we're here with a special guest as well in the studio today. Hello, guys. I'm uh, Liam Jacobs, or as I go by for my music production, Lamb Chops. Thank you for having me. It's a, it's a real honor, guys. <laughs> Do you like Lamb Chops? Have you ever had them? Um, I have had Lamb Chops before. They're very good, but that's not how... I got the name. It's, oh. um, my name, real name is Liam, and a lot of uh, teachers mispronounce it as Lamb. So, Lamb Chops kind of stuff. Okay, that's weird. That's yeah, a weird very, way to, very weird, very weird. Yeah. Yeah, I have a Liam in a class with Perso, and he always messes that name up. Liam. Why? Lil- 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 Lilum. He always yeah, calls him. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't it's know. It's not that hard, yeah, really. Yeah. No. It's not people not just, yeah, I've never heard that mispronounced before. Yeah, it's that's not, weird. It's pretty crazy. How yeah. about you, Chandler? Has anyone ever mispronounce your name? Yeah, sometimes. Really? Sometimes for comedic effect. Yeah, how many <laughs> Chandler Bing jokes do you get? So I was actually just talking about this last night, um, and I, my biggest thing, you know, because it's always, that's why I named my second uh, Instagram account, like Chandler from Friends, because it's just the first thing almost definitely out of anyone's mouth when they meet me. And my biggest thing that I've I've concluded is just like, I just want to, the next time this happens, I'm just going to ask the person, like, what do you think you're the first person to, that came up with this? Like, that you're the, like, you cracked the code of, like, the funniest joke you could say. Like, you're the first one that thought of the connection there. It's, it's like, come on, dude. I intentionally didn't bring it up for months because I figured that's all you get. Oh, yeah. So it's constantly. Cool. I've gotten Patricia before, and they're like, wow, that's, hilarious. that's the girl version of Patrick. You're a genius. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard Chandelier a lot <laughs> as well, <laughs> which is a pretty, that's, that's a dangerous hilarious. one. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty weak, actually. Really I don't know. You go. No, you're um, not a fan? Not a fan. Like not a fan, not a fan. Of but I actually heard for the first time, like two semesters ago, uh, I, I met someone in my film classes, and they were like, oh, like Chandler Riggs. Like from the new one. Carl from The yeah. Walking Dead. And I was like, what? He said a different one this time. <laughs> There's a new Chandler in town. And uh, then I was like, oh, yeah, well, everyone always says, like, Chandler from Friends, so that's refreshing. And he was like, who? And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like, it was just, like, complete, completely insane. Yeah, so welcome to the Etymology Podcast. We're here every Monday <laughs> from 4 to 5. Thanks for tuning in. What about uh, you, Coffee Guy? What's the best parody someone's come up with for your name for the coffee guy the, wor- <laughs> the worst parody was probably coffee guy that's, that's a joke we should probably lay to rest by now I you th- think I we did it, yeah, it, it was right. never funny i think storm was right when he said that <laughs> i agree i agree well i mean what's your do we want to do it what's your real name <gasps> wow the reveal the See, will, reveal. We, will we have to change the thumbnail then and stuff like that's a lot of extra work yeah, no i'm not doing that okay you then i guess name, we though, already have want. to change the thumbnail <laughs> Well, it's a lot easier to edit something out than to bring something in. Ooh. True. That's deep. That is Facts. Kind of, wow. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Pat, it, it, it's your call. Am I coming out? Go for it, dude. I don't... You've said no. your name a million times. By accident. My name is Zach. It's, it's, oh, the, wow. it's nice to oh, meet God. you all. For, any, <laughs> for anyone who didn't already hear it, slipped for the millionth time. <laughs> Just me and Storm ever. Mostly me, yeah. though. My favorite was uh, when Storm, did he call me your name or you my oh, name? Oh, he, he constantly would mix us up. Constantly. We didn't even look that yeah, much it's like, alike. No, it's, well, I guess because of the hair. It's like you guys just didn't matter to him. To I, that yeah, point. I, he's got a good point. <laughs> so like, I'm on the podcast with Chandler and those other two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. 
What about you, Liam? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Wait, Liam, in your opinion, do me and Zach look similar? Uh, yes. Yes, you do. I'm offended. Really? Uh, but it, you're well, offended. really mainly, ju- <laughs> ma- I would say mainly just with the hair. That's, okay, that's, that's the main. Yeah. yeah, you gotta get a different thing. You gotta get a new thing. <laughs> oh, are those scissors? Yeah. I could do I've right been doing now. it first. You could just copy me and like put oh, it oh, up yeah, real that's high. That's because you're like 20 years older than us. Yeah, no, that don't look like you though. Yeah, but I it's all right. thing. Nah, it's cool. That's <laughs> cool. Did you just start that this semester? <laughs> no, I've been doing this for probably like a year and a half now. Okay. Because you like weren't doing it at first. Like no, when I the semester I, first started, and I was like, I was on and off. I mean, I do, I kind of do it on and off. It's more for purpose than for function, oh, just so or function. <laughs> Wait, what? So it's no, your eyes and stuff. More for purpose and function than fashion. That's what I was going for. Yeah. So for, it's the, not, for the listeners, yes, yeah. he's he's sporting a pebbles from uh, the <laughs> punk stands kind of <laughs> Wow, dude. Yeah. Why Why are you going to put him on blast like that? <laughs> no, nah, that's yeah. not the worst I've heard. Um, what like, is it? really a, a <laughs> fountain? It looks like a that's fountain funny. coming out of my head. That's yeah. that's uh, kind of artistic, though. I like it. Yeah, you know. I'm a fan. It's very flowing, very free. You like, know? you have your own thing while me and Zach have to share a haircut, yeah. so, like... <laughs> share a haircut. Sure. And it just looks lazy, like we're share. scared of scissors or something. Yeah. A share cut, if you will. Isn't that... <laughs> sure. Thank you so much. I couldn't get there fast enough. Uh, so, yeah, well, you... Uh, did you guys do anything interesting over the break? Because we, we 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 filmed a show Jose, over the break. My friend and, Jose. Yeah. He came down. Yeah. How was that? That was fun. We uh, we ate a lot of bad food. Not we as did much VR, bad food. VR, right? We did VR too. That was pretty sweet. VR makes me sick, actually. Really? Yeah, I've never done it yet. It really depends on the game, I think. So I did, yeah. I did. I played like four games, I think, and like half of them made me feel weird. Yeah. It's just a. It's a strange sensation, like. It, the whole experience is just strange yeah. and then add like a bunch of movement and crazy colors coming at you Yeah, I did I actually went twice once with Jose and once with uh, my girlfriend and her friend Uh-huh, and the second time I was playing this game called Robo Recall and I got super into it. Apparently I almost punched one of them <laughs> Total <accident. laughs> Have you ever seen the clip where the guy like runs into the wall <laughs> where <laughs> VR he's got the VR headset on and you see him doing the thing and he just runs into a wall and Knocks his head. It's pretty That'll good. That'll most great. definitely be me. Um, yeah, I can't yeah. wait <laughs> And you vlogged the whole thing, didn't you? As well, not the VR as much. Well, yeah, we yeah. didn't. No, okay, you didn't yeah, vlog you VR. The you day, vlogged though. the day, yeah. And then we met Very up nice with day. you at for dinner at yeah. the end of the night, and that was that was nice. Waited an hour outside. Huh? That was good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because you showed up and like table for nine, and they're like, <laughs> yeah, right. we, we you chose yeah, like not the, gonna happen. the small. I don't know if you're familiar with PJ Wellhands. Yeah, all, PJ right, Wellhands. right up the road or whatever. Sure, yeah. Um, smallest dining room ever. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, like that's where we decided to congregate nine people for dinner. So. <laughs> A great plan, guys. Yeah, it was like <laughs> half the room that we took. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I bet they loved that. They did. Yeah, <laughs> sure. and then we were there for like two hours. So it's yeah. like we walked in we're like, yeah, we have nine people. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna give us a minute and then like, like I'm pretty sure it's a that's not even to fire code to let <laughs> people in this building. Because PJ's really is just a house. Pretty it much. Is, yeah. yeah it's, and we're just eating in like a very large living room, but it's still just like a living room. <laughs> my father ate my leftover wings. I was pretty upset oh, really? about that. Yeah, because I'm not home very often, so he took oh. advantage. You snooze you lose, but pretty upset about so that. Good. I ate mine while watching the wire. That was pretty good. Oh wow. I am not familiar with that show at all. But it's pretty, I would would recommend. What is it about? It's about um. Sell it. <laughs> well, it's got Idris Elba in it, so I mean. Oh, mm. cool. Yeah. Um. No, it's a show about police. Like they get a beat on, like this drug empire that exists. Mm-hmm. So then they try they're trying to take it down, but people don't really want it taken down because it's got like ties to political figures and stuff they're giving the money to. Uh huh. So they're going against like. I guess like police politics to get it done because uh-huh. like all the higher ups don't want them to. Uh, that's pretty good. Sounds Would recommend. Do yeah. they play the song "Through the Wire" by Kanye West at any point during the show? Can't say they do. Hmm. All right. Well, Z- all right. Well, Zach's on the phone. <laughs> he he had to take a call with his publicist. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's really it instantly blew up in his face, and he's he's having to take a lot of heat right now. So. <laughs> oh, so yeah, your your car's been in the For shop. The last time I saw you, you took it into the shop. After last week's show. Yeah, and so it's why? What's going on? What's the problem? Uh, I'll get to what I'm not on the phone with. 
All right, yeah, yeah. This is, this well, is a one enough. side of a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I don't know what I would do with my shop. If my car, if my shop was in the car, I have no idea how I would get around. Dude, that would be pretty difficult. For that, sure. That'd be. There's a lot of <laughs> a lot of intricacies to work out there in that yeah. situation. Car's not very big. <laughs> Uh, I actually let my battery die by accident uh, a few days ago uh, because let I'm it die by really accident. dumb. Yeah, I let it die by accident. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, it means that I'm never turning my lights on in broad daylight ever again because I forget to turn them off when I park because I was, like, running late to work. And I came out after, you know, an, like, nine hours, and it was so dead. And so I had to get a jump from the auto... M- m- place so luckily you work at a walmart yeah that so. was really lucky yeah dude he had like this box that just he hooked up the the wires to it and then just jumped it off of like this battery box yeah thing. wow you mean you jumped your was that oh no i'm sorry sorry i didn't mean to interrupt are you, you a mechanic no they say you're actually supposed to use those more than tying to another yeah. car battery because it's just a lot safer but yeah. definitely my car battery also died over spring break nice so. wow yeah. but was it your fault um no, it wasn't. It's just my alternator. It's not uh, charging the battery. That's not good. But it's, it's, not good. it's died a couple times in the past, yeah. so it's that's probably not really helping it. And then no. I didn't drive it, so that also. Mm. Yeah, my yeah. dad uh, fell asleep in the car once while I was in somewhere, and I came back out and the battery was dead. And he was asleep. While it was on. That's the, Was the car on? No, the battery not can't. anymore. Oh, the battery oh. can't. Well, I mean, unless there's something wrong with the alternator. I think he had like half die. on and just like, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, be Good careful experience. of that. Like, if you leave your car on in a garage, that's how a lot of people asphyxiate, you know? <laughs> yeah. True. It's, it's very yeah. scary. Shout Oof. out to my dad. <laughs> shout, out, <laughs> shout out to, dad, shout out to Your dad's dad. really nice, actually. He tolerated us during that 24-hour live stream. Surprisingly, yeah. Uh, quite well. I was surprised at how chill he was about us being loud and annoying in his house all day and night. And still contributed to our cause. He did, some... yeah, and he's donated. That was really cool of him. Yeah, coffee guy's back. Very nice gentleman. <laughs> Your dad's a, my dad. My father's a nice gentleman. What did I miss? What are we talking about? My uh, dad. We're talking about Pat's dad. It's the Pat's dad podcast. <laughs> wow, we were really out of ideas. <laughs> yeah, just straight from the bottom of the barrel now. So what's up with the car? How are you? How are you doing? Um, not good. There was a lot of things. <laughs> there were a couple things I knew that really needed to be fixed. Some of which I knew were going to be expensive, and then they found some more stuff that definitely needed to be fixed. Like my fuel line was completely rusted, almost. Good. So yeah, that's great. That's cool. If you like puddles of gasoline <laughs> under your car. It's perfect. Yeah, I like to I like to light those up and see if I can escape before it oh, hits my car. Dude, That's would cool. definitely recommend. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I don't want to get into details because the money of it makes me sad. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're just gonna get on. We're just, and, yeah. uh, <laughs> oh wait, dude, if you lit the gas puddles on fire, it looks like you just came from the past. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Wow. That's true. Welcome to the Back, Back to the Future <laughs> podcast. Welcome to the Back to the Future podcast. Uh, yeah, so I mean, my my spring break was pretty chill, honestly. I'm starting a new job. Unfortunately, working at the Walmart bakery. Not very hype about that. I was stuck indoors watching training videos for like nine hours. You uh, got paid for that though, right? Yeah, I did. But was it's it like um, was it real time? Where they're like, and now we put in the real muffin time? in the oven, and yeah. then you just stared at the muffin <laughs> no. for like three hours. No, it's even worse because it's all like the preliminary like. Really corporate. Don't super start a union. Corporate stuff. Can you <laughs> skip? Can you skip any of it or? Kind of. Yeah. I, I early on I tried to see exactly how much I can get away with, and it's not a lot. Wow. Like yeah. there's very few types of things I can skip through. Like mm. it's it's not fun at all. I do not recommend. Uh, yeah. Just. Oof. But there's a subway there, so I, I've been eating subway, unfortunately, Ooh. for every lunch break. Eat fresh. For sure. yeah. <laughs> Eat fresh. Something about a subway inside a Walmart doesn't scream fresh to me. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. No, <laughs> not at all. But Quite they the give me a discount, so I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. Ooh. 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 Your, your Walmart discount works at the subway? Well, they're not supposed to do it, but they're like... Well, you're gonna have a discount soon. And I'm like, okay, thanks. Uh, <laughs> um, you're the inside man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, Did I we talk about wings already? Did I miss that? Yeah, you missed okay. all Briefly. that. Did we talk about how you cannot order anything from a server ever? Oh, come on. That was funny. I thought we forgot about that. No, that was the funniest part of the night. <laughs> That's how not exciting. After like, yeah, after <laughs> taking like five people's orders, she gets to Chandler, and Chandler's like. 
can I get 20 wings but two different flavors? Is that weird? Do people do that? <laughs> And, and she was like, that's fine. And then, well, no, 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 because I initially was going to get them all the same flavor. Oh, and yeah, then she was right. like, you want them all the same? Like, she, like, said it like that. And I was like, whoa, 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 is that, like, weird? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I've uh, half, half mild, half uh, 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 garlic. And so then I was like, wait, 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 but are, do the flavors touch at all? <laughs> are they going to touch so, like, the, the cross-contamination of flavors is going to happen? And she's like, no, they do not touch. They come in separate it. Containers. I was like, oh, wow, thanks. This place is everything. And then everyone started making fun of me immediately for asking that. <laughs> yeah. Because it also took about five minutes for me to finish all of that talking because <laughs> I stumble uh, through orders everywhere when I am in a situation like that. It's not good. It's a shame. You're going strong on that order. Like, yeah. There's usually somebody that messes up, and we're, like, almost done, and you just, and just I blew just, it. I always tell the waitress to enjoy her food after she gives me mine. That happens to me all the time. Is that on purpose or is that like... No, a, just okay. involuntarily yeah. enjoy your meal. You do. Yeah. And yep. I'm like, yeah. wow, I am an idiot. So I'll be leaving now. I'll be leaving <laughs> now. Thank you. <laughs> just get up. I, I do that at the movies all the time. Movies Every time too, I go to yeah. the movies, they're like, enjoy your movie. I'm like, you too. And I'm like, oh, you work all night. You're stuck behind a cash <laughs> so Never mind. Now I'm, uh, I feel mean. So yeah. I'm sure they don't care if it's any consolation. I'm sure that it happens probably more frequently than I right. let myself believe, yeah. you know? But I feel like I'm the only one in the world <laughs> that does that. Oh, you it's walk okay. in and like, oh, I can't tell me to enjoy a movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. And uh, the vlog, we just had a new vlog that went up uh, Saturday, which are going to become more frequent. So if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. It's probably one of the last vlog storms going to appear in. There might be one more, I think, or two more after this, and then that's it. Because we don't see him anymore. He's just, uh, he moved. I miss him. Yeah, he moved to... Uh, Different school district. Yeah, he moved... <laughs> no, he moved to Madagascar, so he's, wow. yeah, pursuing a Something about penguins is weird. There. Oh, well, that's not an indigenous species to Madagascar. It was, a, it was, a, it was the movie. Oh! Um, yeah. Is that a Madagascar reference <laughs> on this podcast? We can check that off the list now. Um, so yeah, Liam, so we're, we're gonna go break. We're gonna go to the break. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, next. You seem really relieved. Next up with Liam. <laughs> we'll talk to Liam. I'll be right back. And we're back. Ooh. For the end of podcast. Ooh, there's the energy we're That's looking it. for. We can do a I'll be little back bit after better. Next break. <laughs> uh, so we're back, Liam. I want to get to know you. Okay, go ahead, get to know me. No, you said so. We, so we have uh, what two classes together? Yes, we do. Yeah, and so and you as well. You're with us, Zach. Uh, I'm so glad I can say that. Does now. that feel good to say? It does I? And so now when I say your name, I don't have that moment immediately after. I'm like, oh. There were some nice moments though, where like you would say it, and then someone else would talk, and we just look at each other and be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, if this cannot last much longer, like. Uh, but yeah, so, but we all, the music classes are the only classes we have together. Right, right. So I take it that you're a pretty big music fan. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, kind of grew up around music my whole life. Um, my great uncle is a polka, um, accordion player mm -hmm. and a band, a polka band. Um, Pete Chacho is his name. You can look him up if you want. Polka music is very, uh, outdated and not a, not a lot of people like it anymore but the band was called the Jersey Express and so I've grown up with polka music when I was really young all different kinds of music with my parents I uh, started playing cello in like third or fourth grade that was the first instrument I learned how to play um, and then eventually worked into high school playing snare drum in the marching band uh, as well as being in the choir so I've kind of always been around music uh, never really pursued it fully um, just because I felt that um, my dad wanted me to do something else, and I thought, well, you know, my dad's a pretty smart guy, so I should do what he wants me to do, but it doesn't really always work out too yeah, but well. But he's not so. the polka king, as your great <laughs> no, uncle. No, <laughs> so, uh, I'm no. No, not at Jan Levan. Your, your great uncle has an IMDb page. I guess he had a documentary. 2009, it says the man no, would be that's, polka king. Yeah, that's that's Jan Levan. Am I no wrong? Wrong polka guy. For but, real? Because yeah, like, what? No, it's not Jan Levan. It's a uh, it's Pete Chacho. Yeah, it's what I'm under. Oh, is that? Um, and maybe. Wait, it was a documentary, right? 
Yeah, no, but it's not just spoken about him. Yeah, it's not it's not Jan Levan. I, I know that Jan makes Levan. Sense. Though. Yeah. You know him personally? No, not personally, oh. but I know of Jan Levan. He's pretty uh He's second build in the stars for that um documentary. My family is very deeply rooted with polka and stuff. They come okay. from, you know, that part of the world right. and all that, so that's a very big thing in my family. Although, like, I didn't grow up listening to it like, you know, my dad and right. grandmother and yeah. stuff did. But, uh, yeah, are you excited at all maybe for the, what is the movie? Is it Polka King? The Polka Starring, King. Uh, Jack I, Black? I've seen it already. Uh, it it's hilarious. Yeah. It's is a, it? It's a great movie. And if you know anything about Polka or anything like that, you, you'd find it really, really funny. Oh, so it does it justice. Oh, definitely. It definitely does. That's it was overdue. Sure. Some Polka love. Right. You know? For sure. It's been it's been out of the limelight for quite a bit now. Oh, definitely. i got to bring it back. Yeah. I hope. Bring back the Polka. I hope there's a resurgence <laughs> of Polka. Have you, have you ever thought of following the Polka dream and following in your great... <laughs> great uncle's footsteps. Great uncle, yeah. Um, I play the accordion a little bit, um, but it's not really something that you can do well in. Um, <laughs> when it, it's a funny line from actually the Polka King movie is that uh, you know his aunts and uncles are going to the show to see him, but they don't want to pay for the tickets to listen to the music. They won't pay three dollars for a ticket, and that's kind of how the audience of polka music is. They they won't even pay three dollars to listen to the music, but they're a fan of it. So I don't know. It's kind of a that's dying dying art for sure. But oh yeah, definitely. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's definitely going to be survived by oh yeah you know all the the really die hard yeah i'll always i'll always put on a chicken dance or some <laughs> kind of some kind of polka at a, at a party or a wedding or whatever so the chicken dance is polka for yes it is i know. didn't know that actually yeah it's very oh, very yeah, polka. that one yeah, that <laughs> chicken oh. it's very very polka yeah. you have to be confused with the other chicken dance songs right. right that have gotten popular through the years there's a lot of chicken songs out there <laughs> Name one other chicken song. <laughs> uh, no. All right. <laughs> Can't. Sounds good. But, uh, yeah, so the accordion, now, the only person I really think of when I think accordion, obviously, is Weird Al Yankovic. Right. A very big accordion fan he is. Uh, and I, I, I love the accordion as an instrument. I think it's really interesting. It is. It's a very interesting, cool instrument, for sure. Um, I don't know. A lot of people overthink it but it's just pretty simple it's just air and that's really that's all it takes to play it so just you're, air man just air just air and a little use of your mind but mm. other than that you're just going like that the whole time do the movements back and forth mean anything uh, like sometimes they go like that yeah like so that. you're filling the bellow the ballow with uh -huh. air so that's what makes the sound um but as you press it like you can change the sounds like you'll see accordion players sometimes flood uh fluttering their accordions like back and forth really quick and that changes the sound as well um but mainly it's from the keys and the bass keys that you're playing on the accordion okay it's really That's interesting. interesting. Yeah, I, I know very little about the accordion. I've only seen, like, probably I've only seen a live accordion played, like, twice ever. They normally have a polka tent at Music Fest where they have... People playing. That's where I hang out yeah, all the time. That's it's a great tent to be. It's a great uh, yeah, I'll have to check that out, actually. <laughs> I'm sure it gets really, I'm sure it gets a little little busy a little oh, hopping it gets wild in yeah there. a little wild yeah. all the grandmas and grandpas they, they rip it up on the dance floor they put on put on the chicken dance one time and they're just going <laughs> when's music Wait, which fest happening dance? What? which chicken <laughs> which one yeah stop uh when, <laughs> when's music fest happening this year i can look it up it's the mm -hmm. first week of august i believe that sounds I'm right check that yeah go ahead that's true I, I've hit Music Fest. I missed it last year, unfortunately, but I hit it like every year before. Friday, that. August 3rd. Look August at you. August 3rd. So that's where we'll be. We'll be meeting up at the Polka the Tent. Polka tent. Up. <laughs> Definitely. Is that, on, is that in like downtown? Uh, or is that the stacks? It's uh, yeah, downtown Bethlehem, right under the bridge. Like oh, that's the like big the bridge. coolest place. Yeah, yeah it's like be. it's the spot for yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, so that, that's going to happen. We'll vlog it. We'll hit up the yeah. Polka Tent. We'll. <laughs> That's I'm a great excited. idea, actually. I really yeah. you Are you going to be there? I'll be there. Okay. For sure. We will not remember that. No. <laughs> I might not even be here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a possibility, so... But hopefully I am. Oh, well, actually, if first week in August, I might 
not be gone yet. So I might, even if I Did am. Did you get leaving, into that? Is it official? Oh, that's right. I didn't say that like at all on the show. Um, yeah. So I had my in Madagascar with Storm. I guess like I don't. I kind of <laughs> yeah. I'm moving Madagascar. <laughs> Uh, I kind of don't want to jinx it. I didn't want to talk about it and jinx it, or I didn't want to talk about it in case it didn't happen. But I guess, you know, I'll just mention it. But uh, I applied to the Disney College program. It's been like an ongoing thing. I had some help with a friend of mine who went through the program, you know, through the interviewing process and the application process. And I managed to get the uh, move on to the web interview, which I. Uh, passed and then I just had my phone interview Thursday afternoon and I believe it went very well so I'll know probably within a month if I'm going to be an intern at Disney for the fall semester which will be August to January so yeah it's pretty exciting nice. a little yeah. scary too but you know yeah. it should be should be a fun experience it's gonna be warm that's really all I care about <laughs> honestly Cause I'm really be, done with this weather. Are you gonna be one of the princes? You know, like yeah. Gaston. Yes. Nice. I could totally pull off Gaston. Absolutely. That's not even funny. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, they said uh, one of the pointers for the interview was that you should be smiling all the time, and I was like, they can't see that. But I guess <laughs> they can hear it. Yeah, they can hear me smile. But you can hear how phone. sad I sound. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I wanted to try to avoid that. So hopefully I did. Hopefully I passed that test. But yeah, that was pretty nerve wracking, though. It was really a battery of questions. He asked me what uh, what would I tell a kid if they weren't tall enough to ride a ride, and I was like, "There's no easy way to answer that. Like they're gonna be sad either way." It's uh, like trying to explain why. Santa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's I, won't, I, won't, I won't go any further. What about Santa? He's a great guy. Oh, okay. That's all I was saying. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> uh, Watch it. I know. Um, <laughs> I I had to think about that one for We're a second. Lying, okay. <laughs> I know. I ruined Christmas for anyone. <laughs> in, it's, a, it's a magical time. In March. Yeah, in March. <laughs> about Easter. I can't wait to see the Easter bunny. Right, me too. Uh, so, yeah, like... What are you into now, though, musically? I mean, um, we know the roots. Well, now musically, a lot. I, um, I guess mainly uh, my focus right now is on electronic music and dance music, that type of style. Um, anything really, though. I just basically will make sit down, and make a beat, and whatever I'm feeling, I kind of just make it. It's not really like I go for one specific thing or another. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you seem like I mean, because I know he, Zach and I listened to. Well, your your song, one of your songs was playing in the intro yes, to the show earlier, yep. and uh, Zach and I listened to some of your stuff on SoundCloud. It's really experimental, really. Yeah, like mainly. Yeah. yeah, you're just doing whatever doing you feel whatever, like. Yeah, whatever feels good, whatever I feel like sounds good. I mean, I don't think it always does sound good, but no, you know, I think there's some there's some definite gems on there. You know, it's just like you gotta. You'll f you will gotta find something that works. Right, right. Exactly. And that's all part of the process is like feeling it out and, and what you're comfortable with and stuff. And that's really important. And some people can never like get there, you yeah. know, like get past that yeah. hurdle. Because it is really challenging. It's challenging to like find a sound or like settle in like a good groove, right. you know? I feel like my biggest hurdle was like getting the courage to just put it out there. Yeah, that's you know, a big that's, one. That that was the biggest thing. I had made songs, you know, just Garage Band or whatever for a long time, but I just never posted them anywhere. Mm -hmm. So it was a big. The biggest leap was for me to just say, you know, it, if if it does nothing, then at least I know that I put it out there and it had the chance. So yeah, that's that's honestly how you have to be. You know, shout out to all the people who have. You know, 50 songs they never yeah. released sitting on their hard drive because they're afraid if anyone will like it or, it you out, know, man. 100 videos yeah. that they never uploaded to YouTube or, you know. Are those both you? Uh, no. Well, they uh, sometimes, like, it, it depends. There's a lot of stuff I do sit on and, like, never release because I'm just, like, I don't think it's good enough, you know. And, yeah. Yeah, it's it's easy to get into that mindset, but it, it's it's really difficult to like crawl out of that, you right. know, and believe that you're worthy of recognition for right. what you're doing right. or that anyone could enjoy it. Like right. it was insane when someone downloaded a song I did on SoundCloud, like because mm -hmm. I was like, 
why would you ever want to listen to that more than once? Right. You want to take that with you? I'm taking places? Up storage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it, like that was just so weird to me. But you know, I it's really cool still um, that there's people out there who, you know, there's 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 an audience out there for whatever you're into and whatever you want to do. There is an audience. It's just the hardest part is finding them. It's not that they don't exist, you know, but the hardest part is finding them and letting them find you. Right. You know, but just do it, honestly. Just do it. Just Nike. do it. <laughs> I'm going to go to well, break quick. <laughs> what? We can't. Well, Nike isn't that. Either, but. Ten, nine, and we're back. Eight. Oh, that was a little worse than the you last me break. Off. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's you want me to run it back? What? Yeah, yeah. Try again. Try again. And we're back. Oh well, you just <laughs> yelled that. All right, it's yeah. fine. We'll what? work on it. Uh, <laughs> so, <Wow. clears throat> so it gets really hot in the studio here. We're roasting already. It's usually around the halfway point that this happens. So everyone uh, shed a layer of clothing, and now uh, we, we managed to see you're wearing. I don't know if a shirt you from. See that. You said your old high, high school. school. Yes, correct. And what is that? Uh, it's Admiral Farragut Academy. It's a military school in Florida. It's a naval-based military school, and we're in a uh, naval-based JROTC program throughout the whole experience. Was that what? fun? Wait, what is military school and like? That's, uh, you're, you're, you should be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Um, uh, no, sorry. What were you saying? I, was, I don't know. Military school is always like the thing in the sitcom that they threaten the main kid with. Is oh, it like that bad? Or is um, like... we're on taps. Yeah, it's uh, taps was actually <laughs> taps? it was actually filmed at my first military school. No I went way. To. Valley. I don't know what taps is? Yeah, taps is the Valley first Forge. movie I think. I don't know about the first movie, but a very early Tom movie Tom Cruise was in. Yes. Yep. Oh, wow. he, he dies in the movie. Yes, Spoiler. Well, uh, <laughs> just in case you're going to watch it. I still have to watch Old Yeller now. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that. I forget who else is in that. Look it up. Uh, Go on. Yeah, but it was uh, that was filmed at Valley Forge, and that was the first military school that I was at. That's oh, where that's I started. Right. Yeah, it's in uh, Wayne, Wayne, Pennsylvania. It's I right forgot that that was. I forgot that was Valley Forge. Actually. That's where that winter happened, right? Yes. Oof. With Oof. The old, old Georgie. Old, old Georgie. That's what they called them in the biz. Old Georgie. <laughs> old Georgie Washington. Can you say that? You've been in military school? Uh, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I have the credentials, but it's. I can say it because I'm a Freemason, so that's why. Are you actually? Yes, I am. What? You want to see my ring? Be being, what? being a fan of polka music and being a Freemason are like hand in hand. Yeah, totally. Honestly. And being in the Illuminati, it's all. <laughs> it's, a big, it's a big triangle. You were talking about that in the beginning of one of our sound production classes yes. with people, and I just wasn't really paying attention. I just thought you were joking. No, it's it's totally cool. Oh, um, wow. No, that's my grandfather and my father were both Freemasons, so once I turned 18, they were in it. I wanted to do it, and I joined up. Well, you tell us I applied. Secrets, or? I applied. Uh, no, they would kill me. Okay. Or just, yeah. what, really? or, or just yeah. what in general, I mean, like, what... What? what in general is it, or like what is it about? There's a yeah. lot of frequently asked questions it's about. A bunch of guys hanging out in a room. Or yeah, like? pretty much. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty much like the oldest fraternity that there is. Um, okay. Oh, so uh, the, you guys like frat out? Right, right. We're total frat <laughs> bros. Um, no, Dude, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the way they describe it is like a, a fraternity with secrets. So we're okay. just a fraternity, and we have secrets. And we're not a, technically a secret society because. I can tell you, I'm a Freemason, you know. That's and weird. So apparently, uh, there's this, like, huge room in the third story of my house. My house is super old. Okay. And apparently Freemasons used to meet there. Yeah, very plausible. Okay. That's weird. It was, it was a weird thing to me. I didn't realize it was so, like... I mean, uh, they used to meet in bars and all, all different places, basements, because you want a place that's not... Um, descript or anything now they are now we have big signs that say yeah. this is lodge number or whatever but uh back in the day because it, it had a lot to do with the time of the revolution um it was real underground and because they were trying to gain independence so didn't want anybody to know that they were trying to overthrow so that's really random i was like doing research about freemasons over the weekend this is really oh, wow. weird. Wow. Small world. Yeah. Uh, I guess so. must be must be the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> They're listening all the time. Never forget. We are listening all the time. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the revolution. Shout, yeah, right. shout out. Thanks for the independence, guys. Yeah, thank you. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a really big that's like my one of my favorite parts of history. Freedom? 
freedom. Yeah, freedom. The freedom <laughs> yeah, me part. Too. <laughs> uh, no, like the American Revolution. Yeah. And like Hamilton is my favorite musical. And that's just, I'm just very into, I'm fascinated. Are there by any Freemasons in Hamilton? Do they bring that up? <laughs> no, that's never mentioned <laughs> in Hamilton. But it's a secret. Maybe you know. Was <laughs> Alexander Hamilton a Freemason? Um, Wait, when you watch very it? possibly could have been. Uh, there was a lot of in, in that time period, a lot of the big players in mm-hmm. the independence of the United States were, were were Freemasons. Yeah, they were. What if it's like a thing? What if in Hamilton there's like a message to Freemasons that we wouldn't get? <gasps> you there Maybe could you there very it. well could be. I mean, we use a lot of symbols, so what could look like nothing to you would look a different, completely different way to me. Spooky. That is That's very really spooky. scary. I'm scared. I mean, not actually no, scary, don't be scary. But I'm unsettled. That's really interesting. No, it is. It is for sure. I wish Mason was here. Mason would love this. Oh, because his name is Mason. Is Mason. Not what I was going for, but yeah. <laughs> oh. He also, oh. he works construction, so he could be a Mason. <gasps> That's a little too crazy right. for me. I <laughs> I'm Mason the Mason. Mason the Mason. <laughs> Who's a Freemason? Uh, so, well, speaking of Mason, we filmed a little short with him uh, that you directed and wrote, and wrote is a loose word, but. So it was directed. <laughs> uh, filmed at your house uh, featuring your, your dog, Lucy. Yeah, she was crew. Yeah, she was crew. She, she was eating the food off of the floor yeah. that we dropped during the dropped shoot. Dropped a lot of food. Dropped a lot of food. Only Mason. So Mason all actually, over so part of it, Mason opens a can of La Croix, La Croix, whatever it is. La Croix. 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 And uh, he didn't finish it. My sister's mad because it was hers. So, yeah. so she would have been less mad if he just drank all of it? Yeah. Instead he just wasted it. Mason, it? if you're out there, Shannon's coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Sharon. Yeah, Shannon. Shannon. Thanks. Shout out to Sh- Shannon. Uh, so yeah, but that was fun. Um, I, it'll probably it'll probably be just an unsalvageable mess in I'm post, sure. and uh, you'll never see it. But it was fun, and we'll hopefully be doing more shorts like that in the future that Pat has up his sleeve and is writing because you've been coming to me with all kinds of ideas. Uh, yeah, writing in air quotes. Uh, it was a lot of improv. <laughs> we'll Almost entirely. Honest. Almost entirely. Oh, by the way, a uh, quick mention as to why the camera hasn't moved the whole time. Josh did not get a steadier hand. He is not here. Uh, so he, <laughs> he had to catch up on work. So we were, we were tripoding the camera. I was wondering what that was today. behind me. Yeah, it was just looming over your shoulder the whole time. So, uh, <laughs> so over the weekend, I saw a movie that was really bad. I just want to quick warn everybody to not see because it's still in right now. Um there was an old horror movie, an older horror movie in the early 2000s that was really good called The Strangers. Mm. Um, there's a sequel out now called Strangers Pray at Night, and it is very bad at complete <laughs> 180 from the original. Uh, and I went to see it with a female friend. Ooh. Ooh. And a uh, friend. <laughs> And uh, we is she listening right now? I just she, heard you say that. She may be. She said she is. So Shout out to the lady friend. It. I don't know. I don't buy it. Oh, I don't know. Uh, she probably stopped. I would have by now. I hope she did. But uh, yeah, so we were laughing the entire time, like out loud. And it was not an empty theater. I felt bad. That was my genuine reaction, though, to a lot of what was going on, was like laughing. There, there were so many, like, bad edits and just zooming in for no reason on people's face. Like, way too far for no reason. And it just... And so many cliches to the point where, I mean, I just... I was, like, hunched over laughing out loud in the theater <laughs> at parts that were supposed to be scary and tense. We're not at all. And I think everyone in the theater really hated both of us because we were just for sure. relentlessly I ripping on this movie. Almost from the the, the beginning, because the dialogue was bad and all the character development was bad too. <laughs> it was like robots trying to communicate was with there each any other. Good part? Yeah. What? Really? Was there any good part? There was. There was one good sequence in the entire film that I thought was pretty pretty good. And then after immediately after that was over, it was right back to. I blew it. Yeah, it was just like oh wow. So yeah, it really unfortunate treatment of. Something that could have been good, you know, to, to give a sequel because the original Strangers was great. Because I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's is that the one with like the three guys in the masks. Yes, two of them are females, but yes, right. uh, they're mean, like the I home in, the right. home invasion and the couple uh, and <laughs> uh, try to survive the night, you know, with these people that have invaded their home, and it's very terrifying, you know, because I'm that movie. 
I saw when I was probably too young and scared me for life. Uh, honestly, oh yeah, she is listening. She just made fun of me. Have you the lady friend thing? Have uh, you rewatched it since then? I have. I, yeah, I've seen. Um, I have seen it uh, after, and I appreciate it so much. Like, cause okay. it's a great film. You know, yeah. like it scared me a lot as a child, but it's right. a really great film, and it's really scary because. You know, you think, what's the safest place supposed to be? Like, that's your house. You're supposed yep. to feel safe in your home. And they make the home feel terrifying. You right. know, like, it's the worst place to be in that movie. And that's, like, just a crazy uh, concept. And uh, the the tension and everything like that is just very well done. And, and then it's uh, ruined. Ruined in this <laughs> film. I have no idea awesome. what happened or what they were thinking. But avoid at all costs, unless you want to go with a group or something and laugh and have a good time in the theater uh, and make fun of it like we did. So that's really the only time I would say it's worth it. On the other hand, you uh, you know Quiet Place? That, that's coming out soon, right? With John what? Krasinski? No. Jim from The Office? The horror movie he's going to be in? No. Oh, no. And, and directed. Well, he directed it? Directed and starred in A Quiet Place. I don't know. It's out April huh. 6th. It looks interesting. That's I guess it's a... supposed to be mostly quiet because, you know, Quiet Place. Mostly... Like something... The whole film's quiet. It's a silent film. Silent film. No, wow. I don't actually know. That's an it, interesting art it choice. Looked, I really want to see John Krasinski not as Jim, because I know he's been in other stuff, but yeah, I want to see if it's weird. Probably. Is, like he's going like, to look definitely. at the camera at some point. <laughs> I'm sure he's trained enough to not. I think the monster's like, going to go kill him. He's like, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember when Jim said that on The Office. Uh, I was actually it, oddly I was rewatching The Office, not rewatch. I never like so finished I. the. O- Who finishes The Office? I did. No. Nah. We'll stop. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I was like watching The Office again, and I was just I don't know. I was not. I don't know what it was. It might have just been the day that it caught me, but I just wasn't like that into it. Like I started from the beginning. Well, what episode? Mm. Well, like the early the pilot early. episodes are just kind of like. Why. Ooh. Yeah. Kinda, oof. I like those really early ones. Really, I started rewatching it recently, and I was like, "Wow, this is a lot better than I remember it being." Hmm. But different people like different things, Chandler. I think I want to watch the UK Office with Ricky Gervais mm. just to see, because that was the original, and see. There's a there's a stark contrast between the humor styles of the American Office and the UK Office. Uh, you, naturally, the, naturally. Yeah, the the British humor is a lot. Darker, drier, and dry, yeah, and yeah. drier, and just l- more pessimistic. Whereas the American humor is more like bright and optimistic, you know. Because uh, I mean, that's kind of what American American values are kind of it's the land built of dreams. On. Yeah, it's, well, it's <laughs> the American dream. So I don't know. I think that's interesting. It's a really interesting thing to look at. Definitely. Have you ever seen The Office? Yes, I have. All right. Well, that's I enough have. of The Office. Yeah, enough. enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough. It's a wrap on The Office. It's a no for me. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to The Office Podcast. <laughs> You're catching on fast. <laughs> Quick. New host. You made one of our three jokes already. <laughs> With no prompting. What are the other two? Uh, we're going to break. <laughs> Poor the other podcast. Oh, that was pretty good. That wasn't. That might have been. Oh, all right. If you say so. Uh... I I just couldn't help seeing the you looking up the Pep Boys uh, during the last segment, and for a second I looked over. I was like Pep. I was like, why is he looking up stuff about our podcast? And I was like, oh, <laughs> they stole mind. our name. I, <laughs> I, I, I can't believe we haven't made those jokes yet. The Pep that Boys. That could be our jokes? fourth joke. Pep I don't think we refer to the poorly edited podcast as Pep often. No, but Josh does. He does all the time. I don't know what's wrong with him. A lot. Honestly. I mean, it's Josh. Yeah, he's yeah. a little awful. Out there. He's awful. I can't stand him. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Josh. Way Please. too high energy. Yeah. We need to subdue him somehow. He's yeah. just too much of a positive force around us, and it's just we can't handle it all at once. I recommend elephant tranquilizers. They work pretty well. That might work. Yeah. I don't know if that'll bring <laughs> the man down. He's a big man. He's determined. Uh, he's he, double dose it. If he's man, <laughs> if he's managed to stay optimistic, that might kill him actually. So never mind. <laughs> and have high energy around us, then I don't. I don't know what can bring him down. You know, because I mean, you know what they say if if, it is, if tr- horse train what <laughs> elephant train what, <laughs> doesn't work, you're not using enough. <laughs> <laughs> that is a saying I've heard often. You're right. Well, My grandfather used to tell me that when you were in the hospital. 
And uh, okay. I, we had him on as like a guest for a second time. I asked him what, uh, how he stays so positive. And that episode will be up on Thursday. I don't remember what he said. Oh, you'll, so there's you'll, the you'll, you'll have reveal? to tune in on Thursday. Can you I, know, interestingly, can, I never asked him myself. So I'm kind of interested in what that answer is. Can I take a, take a guess at that? Yeah, sure. I think morphine um, <laughs> for 400. Does that, does um, that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> what is morphine? Does morphine pump you up? Oh no! Um, it like knocks you out. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's a painkiller. Yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. Shout out to Josh Brennan. Shout out to Josh. Yeah, yeah, shout, out, shout out to Josh. <laughs> Thanks for filming today. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, so you, I noticed on your SoundCloud, you have t- a little bit talk in your in your bio about positivity, right. and good vibes. Yeah. And so maybe you have a little co- to contribute about that sentiment um yeah uh i would say um it's more of like a mindset you know you can let anything that happens in your life really affect you and make you be a negative person and act in a negative way or you can take it for what it is and it's just life and bad things are going to happen um but if you go through that with a positive mindset i find that it um really just helps you get through things a lot easier i mean even if it's not necessarily solved right away at least you're not like just down in the dumps the whole time. Um, yeah, it's like if something bad happens, and you have a bad mindset, then it's like it's gonna make it really it worse. sucks. Yeah. But yeah. If, you, if something bad happens, and you have a good mindset. Mm-hmm. It's better it's than like, having uh, a bad mindset. Yeah, yeah. yeah whatever. I've My, been trying to get better about that. Yeah, no, it's taken me a long time for sure. Um, I remember like growing my, growing up, my dad used to always say, you know, the only word I don't want to hear in your vocabulary is can't, because if you think in a positive way and a positive mindset, there's nothing that you can't do. So never use the word can't and uh, Except i don't fly. I, I yeah you really well, shouldn't try to fly yeah i mean you can fly a plane or that's true a glider I don't myself, or though. Yeah. No, you get right. one of those sick wingsuits bro <laughs> yeah bro with the jet pack on yeah, the back dude and you like jump have you ever watched those videos where they no, jump off those cliffs seriously yeah. crazy oh my yeah. god dude i'm gonna right, do that i can fly yeah you're changing yeah. my life here you can do anything you want man <laughs> just think positively yeah, it, it's di- <laughs> what? the only word that I don't want to hear in your vocabulary is can't, Patrick. Okay, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, keep thanks, Dad. Keep, uh, thanks, your dad, dad. Yeah, just respond to as dad whenever somebody. <laughs> Sorry, says that. Pat's dad. New dad in town. <laughs> Step aside. I went from coffee guy to dad in sixty minutes. <laughs> The uh, show's not over yet, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> you know it, it is difficult. I've I've I think uh, I've done a decent job at changing. You know, because I I was pretty not as optimistic in the past, uh, you know, just recently. And I but I found that it's it's so much better to just like, I don't know, to just not let it not focus on the bad things that happen. I, I I've been a lot better lately at telling myself, like going through my head. Anytime something like goes wrong, like everything that's good that I have going on. Right. And that's like. That makes things a lot better, you know? Definitely. You got to keep that all in perspective. For sure. I, I've been trying to think of things that I'm grateful for. Not like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm glad I have a house, but yeah. like something will happen and I'll try to put extra emphasis on it. Like, right. wow, I'm really glad I'm not out of power for a week. Because right. like I, I work with a lady who was out of power for a week. Right. You know what I mean? And I want to go home and play video games or something right. stupid. <laughs> and I, I think, too, um, what really helped change my mindset in a lot of way was travel. Um, tra- yeah. Traveling internationally, traveling yep. locally, anything. Um, when you really see what's out in the world, uh, you kind of get a different perspective of how good you have it. And, you know, there's people, thousands and thousands of people that don't have a place to sleep tonight Yeah, in a warm house or a cool house or they don't have something to eat. They don't have clean water to drink. So right. to to get, have that mindset like, oh, my life's so bad, my life's so terrible, there's always going to be somebody who's worse off than you. Yeah. So like what is stopping you from not being happy you know i had a friend who went to jerusalem right after he graduated high school came back completely different yeah Just totally changed Definitely. have you traveled internationally yeah I've this been, is something we should have talked about yes. before we had only have five <laughs> minutes left uh yeah i've <laughs> been uh, to colombia three times in south america wow. i've been to mexico jamaica i've been over to italy um and my next trip is hopefully either uh, south korea or japan so wow. i'd love to go to south korea yeah i, I hear it's uh, amazing but Definitely Japan first, and then South Korea. I agree. I, it, I feel like that's higher on my list, definitely. Fair enough. 
What was your favorite, like, one of your favorite places? Uh, Colombia, definitely. And specifically, I would say um, Bogota. It's a good... Oh, wow. Bogota or Medellin. I've been to both. I've also been to other, like, smaller cities that nobody would know. Like, Ibagué. If, shout out to Ibagué, Colombia. If anybody's <laughs> listening. You know, if you're listening. listening. <laughs> Hola, como estas? Um, but, yeah, so uh, Colombia is an amazing country. Um, I think it gets a really bad rap from all of the history that it's had, but it's, it's an amazingly fun place, and it's amazingly cheap too so if you don't have a lot of money you want to go on a great vacation head on down so i just realized the guy i was just talking about that went to jerusalem yeah when he came back i was jamming with him one time mm-hmm. and he was wearing his hair like that oh wow yeah oh, it's the wow. travel it's the travel it's the travel it's, it'll other. do it to you. <laughs> watch out don't i tra- i traveled a lot before i started wearing my hair like this so i don't know if it's the travel I, I know other you, things. I remember you talking about like friends that you had, and I believe you're saying Brazil, uh, um, maybe. Could, and, no, probably Colombia. Oh, Colombia. Um, do you speak like fluently? Um, I understand really? a lot more Spanish than I can uh, speak. Uh, I mean, really, all you need to know is mas frias cervezas, por favor, and it's more cold beers. So that's <laughs> that's all you ever need to know. And donde está el baño? Where's the bathroom? Nice. Once once you know those phrases, then you're straight. You can go to any. Saving any sp- lives out here. Yeah, saving lives. <laughs> Are there a lot of people that know English there? Um, it really depends on where you go, you know. Uh, the capital city, Bogota, obviously, like, a lot of people speak English. Mm. The more populated the area is, the more commonly they'll speak English. I know, like, Cartagena, which is a big port city for Colombia, um, a lot, a lot of people uh, speak English there because they have cruise ships coming in oh, every right. day. So they've always have English-speaking people in there. So, Yeah. I've never been out of the country. I want to go. I should do either. it anywhere. I put, I, I want to um I went swimming on a beach once my feet left the ground if that counts. Hmm? What? I was in international waters. Oh, wow. that was that's not funny. Yeah, I was gonna say you went swimming yeah, into swimming. international waters because that's pretty far. Dude, I was in the ocean. My feet were off the ground. Basically, not in the country anymore, right? That's not how that works. No, at all. yeah, international waters is like miles outside. Yeah. Of the- but that's where everything's legal, though. Yes, it is. That's it's what they say. I it's don't very know. fun to go out there. It's a great time. I live. I actually lived in Florida for the past like six years. So. I thought you were gonna say <laughs> I, I, I actually lived in international. <laughs> yeah, waters, I actually, so. I actually lived in the international waterways. So. I lived in Rapture <laughs> from Bioshock. Good reference. Yeah, good I reference. love that game. Sure. It's go, a good game. Go play it if you haven't. Go play Bioshock. Shout out right to Bioshock. now. Bioshock remastered on Steam. I have that actually. I played through. I did too. Great it's game. Really good. It's aged well. It's aged well. I never yeah, get to say that about anything almost, but it's aged well. I want to play through Infinite again too. Well, let's not. Okay, well let's not get crazy. I really enjoyed right. Infinite. Really? Yeah. All right. Like the environment? You can't tell me the environment yes. wasn't good. Yes. I thought the gameplay was fun. Ah, swinging around was really fun. Was like really when cool. you get into the rhythm of that and get good at it, you're like, wow, I never want to stop doing this. It's cool. Well, I remember that was like a big hook that they. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow! Wow! Oh, the bell was broken go. for a second. Uh, uh, for like the gameplay early on when I was watching like early development alpha footage, they were like, this is how the combat's going to be. You're going to be swinging around everywhere. I was like, that's lit. But yeah, I don't know. Bio- I mean, Bioshock 2 is probably like my, I don't know. That's hard. I liked Infinite. I Don't get me wrong. It's just, I feel like there could have been mm, more to it. I don't know. It was a little rushed in development. Oh yeah. Yeah, which I think contributed to some of that that feeling, but you played Bioshock? Yeah. Uh no. I have I've seen somebody play it, but and I know like the concept of the game, but never played it personally. I uh wasn't really big into games when I was younger, but like on and off, Call of Duty, you know, little stuff like that. I'm more into like sports games like NHL, FIFA. Madden, stuff like that. Okay. Well, it seemed like you had better things going on. You had, like, more <laughs> exciting endeavors to partake yeah. in than we did. I, mean, I was <laughs> sitting in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting beat up in military school. It was great. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love being hazed. It's the best. <laughs> Hazing is so fun. Well, on that note, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> yeah, Thanks see you for, next uh, week. Thanks for tuning in. And, uh, we can't cut yet. <laughs> this is a joke. We yeah. cut when I cut. Yeah, that's a good one. We are actually yeah. almost at time, though. So, if you <laughs> <laughs> Where can uh, they find your music? Uh, they can find my music on SoundCloud at 
uh, Lamb Chops or Bandito Blanco. My like producer name is Joven Bandito Blanco, young white bandit. So, Ooh. now be careful. Be careful because yeah. Lamb Chops is two words, yes. which Zach found out the hard way when we were looking up your name, and he was like, "I can't, I can't find him on SoundCloud. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong." I sit down at the computer, I type in Lamb Chops the way I think it would normally be spelled. And immediately you came up, and he was like, dude, like... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you could go through my Instagram, too. I have a link on my Instagram. It's at bandito underscore blanco on Instagram, so... Nice. It has nice. a link to the SoundCloud. I'll give you there. a follow for sure. Yeah. Shout myself out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. That's what, that's what it's, it's, just, about. it's just easier. And like, nobody ever finds my SoundCloud when they actually look for it. So. It's kind of... I made it that way on purpose. Yeah, I noticed like, all the weird ASCII characters that you have. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's a lot of those. Yeah. I like it. Oh, well, you know, I appreciate that. What about what about you, Chandler? Well, I don't. Uh, I, I YouTube Sly Elliot. I'm Sly Elliot on everything on Instagram, on Twitch, on YouTube. So yeah, just and go. Please go check out the newest vlog on the channel because it's pretty lit. I edited it, so of course I'm gonna say it's lit, but. Uh, I had fun. It was a fun I day. It. it was fun to like watch again and remember, you know, uh, a cool shoot from film club and all that with Storm and, you know, rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you, yeah, Zach? Just, just make sure you check out the vlogs. They're pretty cool. We want to start doing more of those. Um, yeah. It, it's just, it's, it's a nice, it's, it's something different from an hour long podcast that you listen to or watch. It's just something you, you know you can consume really quickly and move on. And we want to do more of that stuff too. So yeah, yeah. Anything that you have to deal with us less, like for for shorter durations, has to do better for sure. Right. Yeah. Because you won't get sick yeah, of us as quick. You have to deal with us. Right. We don't want to inconvenience you. Yeah, of course not. What about you, Pat? Don't. <laughs> All right. We heard uh, your check out the channel. <laughs> also, check out. Well, are we live to 12 yet? Or did you not do that? No. Well, because we're waiting on graphic what design are we stuff. What are we waiting for? Don't worry because about it. All right. This is All not right. the time <laughs> or the place. Right. On YouTube. Thanks for listening Take so much. Out. Thank you, Liam, for being here. Oh, no. Thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. Great. Thank you an honor. for dealing with us and wasting your time. Trust I'm me. an honor. Yeah. No. It's, it's <laughs> Thanks it's for listening. Guys. Have a great night. Drive safe. Goodbye. Adios. The fans grant Pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues.